Well, the Omaheke Region Office of the Governor will be hosting pro bono medical specialist outreach program that will take place from the 18th to the 21st of July this year in Hobabas. Now, to shed more light, I'm joined by the Regional Governor himself of the Omaheke Region, that is Beyond Ganate, to give us more details on this program. Good morning, Governor. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here this morning, physically, of course. Yeah, I'm physically here. I yeah. thought that speaking over the phone and so on, it's not very personal and yeah. that I should also use the opportunity to come to the capital. Mm. Now we always appreciate the <laughs> yeah. in-person conversations. Thank yeah. you so much for coming. So, Governor, how did this project come about? And please just also talk to us about the objectives of it. Yeah. Now, what, what actually happened, the project goes far beyond uh, to the time of uh, COVID mm -hmm. when Omaheke recorded the highest number of casualties, uh, mortalities at yeah. 7%, while the rest of the country was at 3%. So health then became a priority to us. We realized that we only have one district hospital, actually, that is in Kubawas, and that Omaheke is so vast. Uh, we have areas of ASAP uh, that is 450 kilometers from, Omahe from the capital. Mm -hmm. And so when we had an exercise of uh, uh, immediately after COVID, we decided let's take services to the people and we take all government services to the people and that had become the norm that we must do service delivery and that people should not come to the services, but we go there. Okay. So then we had uh, a Hangane, uh, an exercise between our two countries, Botswana and Namibia, our defense forces. So we took all those nurses and doctors and we took them to ASAP. The furthest point, they delivered service there, but they could not operate. There are no facilities. And then we spoke to uh, one of my personal physicians, Dr. Makwaba, mm. and we spoke about this exercise of pro bono work. And uh, we again had over 35 doctors that were willing to go to Omaike. Mm -hmm. But again, due to facilities not being there, uh, they only end up being 10, and they went again to ASAP. And we agreed that, okay, let's this year now uh, come to Hobavas where there is a, a hospital, theater is there, and some private institutions whose facilities we can use. And we're expecting now close to 30, 35 uh, specialists will come do pro bono work. Okay. Amongst them also the UNAM. UNAM is also coming with some of his students and some professors. So it's a whole exercise, a whole conglomeration of uh, role players who said, let's go and spend our time and give ourselves to the community, do minor operations, and those ones that need ICU uh, admission, that we can follow up again in Venduk. So it's a service that we are rendering to the community of Omaheke. All right. What a great initiative, Governor. Mm. Now, who asked, you've mentioned that these are about 35 uh, specialists. In which areas are they, are they specialized in? And what type of um, medical services will they be offering exactly? Yeah. In fact, uh, I was expecting one of the doctors to come, but uh, it's uh, in all fields, uh, from heart specialist to okay. uh, urology to genia, you to dentist to... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of them, to bone doctors and even the Oshiero and Afrikaners and Kwanyamas that they know mm -hmm. that are struggling with gout will be attended to. So it's a number of uh, illnesses. Mm -hmm. The clinics are recording them and there will be referrals that are coming from the clinics. And apart from the clinics, there are also those ones who had it by weight and who will also visit and even... A kidney specialist will be there, so people will be tested, all those type of uh, uh, complexities. And those are the diseases that are prone to Omaheke, and yeah. that's why we could have so many people that actually succumbed to death during COVID mm. because of our lifestyle and lifestyle diseases, and, and they want to, to come and attend to them. Yeah. We do understand that the country is, of course, experiencing a drought at the moment, including the Omaheke region, mm. which is always also um, definitely hardly affected. Mm. And some of the results of drought is, is malnutrition. Will mm. these also be some of the areas of, of, that will be, uh, of course, um, targeted with this program? Yeah, no, definitely on the issue of malnutrition, uh, we reported intensively about it and we did not only report intensively, we work uh, around the clock to really cap malnutrition. Uh, 
and the nation is responding positively, the mm -hmm. corporate world is responding, and we're working on, on systems. We are now in discussion with a group that will roll out very soon uh, some nutrients to kids, to yeah. 500 kids that we're targeting. And then also are uh, we working with a South African group also that are experts in nutrients we, we hope to, to have in the country by the end of September or towards the end of September. Mm -hmm. And of course there will be doctors, uh, uh, pediatricians that will be coming also, mm -hmm. attending to those children in the wards and also those children that, that have been discharged. Yeah. So malnutrition definitely will not be uh, spared, we will definitely pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. The program will be taking place, that is of course, as I mentioned, from the 18th to the 21st. Mm. This is a four-day exercise. How will you ensure that the most vulnerable communities will be also receiving these most needed um, services? Because I think this is where it's most critical. Yeah. No, we, we took it upon ourselves as leadership. We requested uh, buses from government uh, garage okay. and some pickups. Mm -hmm. So these buses and, and, and kumbis and pickups will be sent into the region. They will collect uh, those patients and bring them to Hobawas. And also where we make sure that these people are not going to suffer from hunger, we're going to make sure that we do well provide a soup or so, okay. so that they kept warm. And <clears throat> for those who may need accommodation after being attended to, we will also provide some where possible, and, but those who can sleep at family houses would want to encourage them to do so. So definitely we're going to make sure that whoever needs services is brought to Khobabas mm. and then taken back to his or her place. Because right. this is a service that is free of charge and we really want to make sure that everyone is on board. Mm. Maybe also what I need to, to complement with is the, the private sector. Of course, all these doctors, specialists, majority of them have their own practices who are giving their time free of charge. Mm -hmm. But also the local uh, um, uh, doctors that are also going to give their time, also with private uh, institutions and Walfers by Corridor Group is going to give us a mobile clinic. Okay. The Be Free Movement of the former First Lady is also giving us a mobile clinic. The Defense Force giving us nurses and social workers, the same with correctional services. So we, it's, it's an effort that is actually like in the spirit of Harambe, we pull together in the same direction for, for the benefit of uh, the people of Omaheke. Well, thank you so much, Governor, for being here and all the best with this outreach program. Thank you very much, NBC, and also for always uh, engaging us to inform and to educate. And, and thank you for helping us telling the beautiful story of Omaheke. Omaheke is having a beautiful story and yeah. it must be told. Thank Definitely. you very much. All yeah. right. Safe travels back to Thank you very much. Well, that was a conversation that I was having with the governor of the Omaheke region, that is Bionga Nate, and he was engaging us on an outreach program that is regarding pro bono medical specialists that will be providing services in that um, part of the country, specifically in Hobabas, targeting the most vulnerable communities and communities that don't always have access to these types of services. And this program will be taking place from the 18th to the 21st of July. Then by standing by with the news, please stay tuned.